The Dummy M Podcast. Find us on Instagram and YouTube. Well, we always have a variety of different guests on the show. And I know T-Dog and I, the Burn Unit, Julia as well, all massive fans of film. So very pumped today because we have the director and writer of the Wormwood series joining us today, Kia Roach-Turner. He did Wormwood, Road of the Dead in 2014, Necrotronic in 2018, and Wormwood Apocalypse, which is just coming out in February. And we get to talk to him today. So Kia, welcome to the Dummy M, mate. How are you going? I'm happy to be talking to you guys. Excellent. I'm happy to be oh, talking no, to anybody in this like pandemic <laughs> crazy world. <laughs> in, 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 any any opportunity world. for social interaction is a good thing. You guys are kind of mostly sport, but you're branching out now. Is that correct? You're, you're going from mostly sport to kind of anything goes, which is why you're talking to a horror film director. On this show, we have um, a variety of guests. So, I mean, we've had Tony Barber from Sale of the Century. We have comedians. We have musicians. And we have film directors as well. So, yeah, we're sort of branching out. We have all types on this show. Yeah, like the Australian Joe Rogan. Uh, <laughs> with maybe oh, 50 thought, million less <laughs> followers. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> now, you did Wormwood Road of the Dead in 2014. How many years prior to that had you actually sort of been conceptualising and writing that film? Well, that's, yeah, that's a funny one. Road of the Dead, I don't know if you know any of the history. We kind of started working on that in 2010. Like, we knew we were going to make a first film, me and my brother, and, like, we came up with a concept that was kind of, like, it was just bulletproof in terms of, like, a short, a first film that's going to cost f all. So we came up with the concept of Mad Max meets Dawn of the Dead, mm. and um, we did a little sort of short proof of concept seven-minute piece that we released in, yeah, 2010, and we sort of shopped that around to some sort of low, you know, small distributors, and we realised very quickly that rather than, like, just have somebody sort of creatively push us around, we figured we could literally, like, we just did a proof of concept that was seven minutes long. It cost seven grand. All we have to do to make a feature film is shoot about 12 more of them. You know, we both have jobs at the time, so let's just write it ourselves, make it ourselves, finance it ourselves by just sort of saving money and shooting every couple of months on weekends. It took us three and a half years, but we got there wow. in the end. And, mm-hmm. and we made it 100% exactly the way that we wanted to do it, you know, which is very rare. You know, usually you've got to go through a process where they fuck with your shit and they mm. make you change the script and they say, well, it's got to be this and it's got to be that. And before you know it, like you've just become the same filmmaker as everybody else. Yeah. Um, and it was very important for us to be able to sort of make our first film 100% the way we wanted to do it. I was in my 30s. I probably could have afforded to put a down payment on a house or I could make a movie. And stupid idiot that I am, <laughs> I ended up making a movie. The Dummy M Podcast. Find us on Instagram and YouTube.